Gemini, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for November 2nd through the 8th. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Gemini. Alright, so the overall energy for the reading, the Judgment card, there may be a decision to be made here. Uh, possibility. <laughs> um, yeah, that talks about change, that talks about um, possibly having a hard time deciding on something or... I see, I see healing and I see you going within. So that usually happens when people tend to be like, okay, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up with my life. Let's see what I can change with. Let's see what, and change comes with um, decisions. So let's see the recent past year, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> Queen of, uh, King of Cups initially jumped out in reverse. Um, there may there may have been a sense of not really uh, being sure of whether or not you can rely on somebody's love here for you. Um, I feel like there was somebody in your life, or still is, um, that you felt something towards, but you were unsure of their emotions towards you. Um, there's a little bit of going back and forth, like, do they love me? Do they not? Do they love me? Do they not? Um, there's also the sense of you starting to really, really pay more attention to yourself, you know, in this process. But we'll see. In the current situation, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. There is a situation here of stability in your life. Now, it comes also with a, a fear of losing it. Um, this is where you, this is where you go in and start looking at things in a very deep way. Um, it's kind of like a matter of choosing. Do I choose to remain in this stability and create it for myself? Or do I choose to live in the fear of losing everything I have kind of thing? You know, let me, uh, go here to the immediate future, the Empress, the Tower, the Chariot. I feel like you're getting there. You're getting into this Empress energy um, of self-empowerment. And I, I, I also kind of see this as being your person, possibly coming in, surprising you very fast, energy coming towards you, kind of like a shock. Is this person really here kind of thing? Um, <clears throat> Or just when you're finding yourself feeling really, really good about where you're at, bam, this person walks in and the, the earth underneath, underneath your feet is starting to shake kind of deal. So let's clarify. Um, let's see this judgment card. <clears throat> Why can't I? It's been like this all morning. God. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles for the Judgment. Gemini, you're definitely heading in a good direction here of emotional balance, of things starting to feel grounded, leveled again. You know, there's... Um, it comes with you opening your heart up to that. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> either to a specific person or just in general, recognizing that feeling through things rather than thinking through things is better, you know, maybe feeling better. Let me clarify this King of Cups in the recent past. <clears throat> Three of Wands, Two of Swords, Temperance card. So this person may have held you in that place of, I love you. 
you know, and then disappearing for a while, not knowing where they're at, what they're doing, what the hell is going on. It's that kind of an energy of not being sure how to take their love, how to interpret it. And there's a sense of waiting and waiting and waiting for them. And that created a lot of confusion here for you. Like, what the hell does this person, what do they want? You know, kind of deal. <clears throat> there's definitely a sense of distance in between the two of you that's being put there, whether in physical distance or in time. And because of that, you are unsure of their emotions for you. Let me clarify the two of pentacles in the recent past. The devil, the three of cups, the ten of wands. That's you going back and forth. That's you kind of... And this is an energy that you placed on yourself of, I really want this with this person. And then the next day, no, because it's heavy. It's hard. It's, I don't want this. No. How would I do this? No, 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 no. But the next day you're like, ah, oh, that would be so goddamn good if that happened. You know, a back and forth between those energies. And that might have actually made you nuts here. And it was unhealthy. It was becoming unhealthy for you. You know? <clears throat> Let me clarify this Ten of Pentacles in the current situation. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Gemini, don't slip into that whole, I'm going to work and I'm going to grow and I'm going to do this for myself. And that's going to make me happy because there's a sense of unhappiness underneath it all. Um, a lot of people tend to fall into that trap of, I need to have money. I need to have this, that and the other to be happy. And a lot of them actually just working towards that goal is, eh. how do I put this? It's if you enjoy what you're doing, I feel you get more happiness out of that than actually working something that you don't even enjoy. But you have an idea that maybe it's going to bring you stability on the long term. And then you get there to where you feel that stability. And then you're like, emotionally, there's something missing. Something's wrong here. Something's like, nah. So it's like, I see you building towards this long-term stability. And underneath it all, being unhappy. Let me clarify the uh, Five of Pentacles. Of course, that could be somebody that's tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you. You know how it is. Roles can be reversed. For the Five of Pentacles, you get the Ace of Cups, the Hermit, the Fool. You want uh, love. You want love in your life. I feel like you have your eye on somebody here that can provide you with that. You're just afraid... Um, to do it. You're just afraid to take this leap of faith with the fool. There's a lot of thinking about that. There's a lot of going within and actually realizing I have emotions in this situation here, but I'm not going to do it because I'm too scared of rejection. I'm scared that that person is not going to reciprocate. So I feel like let me see this four of swords. In the current situation. The strength, the four of swords, the emperor. You just need some more time. That's all you need. Um, I see you on the path of healing, on the path of growing, on the path of learning. A lot of things. Right now, you're struggling with this fear of rejection. You're struggling with understanding the concept of what would bring you happiness into your material world. Um, it's, it's illogical for something material to bring you happiness because happiness is felt. It's not thought of. Whatever you're building in the material world, unless you're putting your soul into it, it's thought of, it's planned. It's, I need to take this steps to be happy. And then you get to your goal and you're like, why am I not happy? 
because you didn't put emotions in it because you know so i feel like there's there's some lessons here that you're going through learning but you're learning a lot you're growing a lot let me clarify the sempress this is definitely your person here coming up Uh, two of Cups, Six of Wands, King of Cups. That's beautiful energy. And the King of Cups, I don't know if you remember, but in the past it came out, it jumped out and reversed. And here it's upright, it's on this person's side. When it comes to them, the two of you being together makes you the happiest Gemini ever. And I feel like it's it goes both ways. They're feeling the same way here. Um, beautiful energy. Wow. That's attached to your person here. Let me clarify the Tower in the immediate future. Nine of Pentacles, uh, Four of Wands, Six of Swords. Somebody's getting themselves single, detached from possibly a marriage, possibly a long-term commitment. Somebody's walking away. It could be you, could be them, but somebody's becoming single. And it's pretty shocking to them too. It's like, oh, okay, I need to do this. Bam, I'm doing it. You know, it comes in as a surprise. But somebody's uh, becoming independent single. Let me clarify the uh, chariot. In the immediate future. Page of Swords, the High Priestess, the Sun. All right. Um, definitely heading towards happiness here. Now... The energy that this is pushing you towards happiness, right? This is your intuition taking you there, taking you to your happiness. The energy that it comes in with is very, very fast. I feel like you're you're just going to take your first steps towards that. So you're not there yet. You're on the way and you're just moving slightly towards that. It's like opening the door and then making the first step. And then you have a little bit of ways to go kind of thing. So this is your first step towards that. You're definitely heading in that direction. And there is powerful, powerful growth here for you. Um, yeah, interesting reading. Let me see what the universe has for you. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yep, working towards uh, bringing the two of you together. Um, there's a sense of reconciliation here. Somebody wanting to take action to make that happen. And a sense of the two of you working towards that. So. Hello, Carrie. Hello. What? Come here. Felix is here. As I said, my animals are a little bit confused because they're walking through either nothing or a lot of boxes. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell is going on in this house? We're moving. That's what's going on. Okay. So, yeah, uh, that's what I have for you guys. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.